Take this man, Hammer! Hammer, I got a problem. Do you know a reporter by the name of Phil Gum from Action News? I don't watch the news. I make it. He wants to ride along with one of us for one day. So what's the problem? He chose you! Why me? Because, Hammer, on paper, you have a perfect arrest record. You have put over a thousand men behind bars. God knows if any of them are guilty of anything. They look guilty to me. Hammer, you don't seem to understand my dilemma. I've been fighting with City Hall for over two months now. They're talking about making cutbacks. The mayor is threatening this entire department. Do you understand what I am saying? You want me to kill the mayor? No! I'm saying this report could either help us or hurt us. It could be good PR or bad PR. I'm ordering you to act responsibly. Don't worry, Captain. Me and my one-man band will give them a little wholesome family entertainment. Hammer, put that gun away. Now get the hell out of here! And uh, over here is where we do some of our fingerprinting. That man over there is a fiendish killer. Tied his dates to a magic fingers bed. Twelve women massaged to death. How awful. Made the ten most wanted list. Also made Cosmo's Bachelor of the Month. Hi. You must be that Mr. Gum I've heard so much about. Hammer! This is the reporter. Oh. Hi. I'm Inspector Hammer. How's that story going so far? Well, so far, all I've seen is a bunch of policemen hanging around, uh, not doing much of anything. Well, you just wait till you see me in action, pal. Uh, Doro, can I see you for a second, please? Yeah. Look, uh, Doro, I want you to do something for me today. It's very important. Sir, I can handle anything. I want you to keep Hammer under control. I'll settle for no gunplay. Just try for no gunplay on camera, all right? Now, if you make a good showing out the other day, I can tell City Hall to go stuff it. Admit it, punk. You're trying to steal a car. Yeah, but that cop said he didn't have any handcuffs, so he ties me to his fender like a deer or something. And then he called me names. He called me Bambi. Hey, there he is right there. That's him. Who's that? Oh, he's my favorite hood ornament. It's interesting. See, I didn't have any Excuse handcuffs. Excuse me. Uh, can what? we drive? Oh. We have business to take care of. Hey, Inspector Hammer, I realize you're driving, but could you look to the camera a little bit more? I want to catch your good side, okay? Mr. Gum, today you're going to find out what it's like to be a real cop. Now, it's not like those guys on TV, J.T. Hooker, running around shooting Hammer, moon men. Hammer! Being a cop is stench. It's body time. Legs on toes. It's floating corpses. Hey, did you ever see a body that's been lying in an alley for two weeks? No. Well, we'll do it after lunch. What was that? A plate came from over there. Well, we'll put a stop to this right now, whatever it is. I can't stand the smell of liquor in your breath. That's liquor, you hag. All right, freeze, police. Bill Gum, action news. Thank God you're here. All right, drop it, fella. Nice and easy. Hey. What's with the cameras? Uh, we're not fighting here. Oh, yeah? Where do all the broken plates come from? A Greek wedding? Now, listen, people. I'm running out of patience real fast. I want to hear how this whole thing got started, and I want to hear it right now. I can't say on TV. Well, can't you just give me a hint, like a little... Oh, come on, just a... Come here, whisper in my ear. Oh, you're a lousy lover. Why? Listen, pal, why don't you try eating oysters, huh? Hammer, please! Well, it's a good suggestion! Let me handle this. It's not gonna work. Sir, you look like a sensitive man to me. Oh, him? Get serious. Will you stop? Please. Now, look, every couple has their ups and downs. Now, how long have you been married? A week. Okay, well, uh, promise me you'll go and uh, have some counseling on this, okay? Yeah, yeah, sure, baby. I promise. He's lying. He's lying. You're not going to leave me here with him, are you? Please. Listen, ma'am, just between you and me, I'm not a big fan of counseling, okay? Uh -huh. 
So if he gives you any more trouble, use this. Let's go. You be good. We're out of here. Come on! Okay, okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, okay, now give me all the money in the safe. Hurry up! Okay, take it I'll easy. I'll blow your head off! Take it easy. Here you go. You built that for Jerry! Shut up and give me the money! Here. Okay, anything else? Yeah, give me two lottery tickets! Here, here you go. Oh. Inspector Hammer, first you play Dr. Ruth, and then you take a coffee and donut break. All you've done is confirm the stereotype of the police. I gotta tell you, I am not impressed. Okay, I would like to address that particular stereotype, if I may. Fine. Now, your stereotypical donut is nothing but dough and sugar fried in fat, am I right? Right. Now, that fat gums up your arteries and goes to your brain, and you turn liberal. And the next thing you know, Barry Manilow's on the turntable, and you're not going to work, and you're voting for gun control. You see what I'm saying? You see that connection? Uh, uh, yes, yes. That's why I eat granola. I'd like a cup of coffee, please. What? Oh, yeah. Get that camera off me. What's the matter? I'm camera shy. Right, I was a child actor. Hey. What? What? Well, you better close that safe. Some brain dead rodent's gonna rob you. Hmm. Here, okay, goodbye. Well, what's your hurry? I gotta pay you, don't I? No, it's on the house, all right? Just, just get out of here, okay? I gotta close up shop. Now wait a minute. This place is open 24 hours, oh, isn't it? Oh, where am I? <laughs> Take this, Darrell. You know what I'm gonna do to you? I'm gonna stick your head in that microwave and set it on sandwich. Hammer, you can't do that. But there's no setting for sandwich? This is appalling. That's right. The only reason I steal is because I ain't got enough to eat. Oh, you hungry? That's it? Cover him, Darrell. What are you gonna do? Well, before I take him in, I'm just gonna give him a little bit of lunch. Oh. Well, that's expired two weeks ago. Oh, he can't eat that. Ooh, six weeks old. That's much better. And this is, ooh, expired 1968. 67, 66. Look at this. Good, good, good. Eat. You can't make him eat that. Well, he's nothing but scum and bones. Eat. Nineteen fifty-nine. Very good year for first radish. You should have saved room for dessert. Well, so far all we've learned today is our police can't solve a crime unless they have the dumb luck to stumble upon it. Well, that's not true, Mr. Gum. Part of our job is to prevent crime. That's why we have neighborhood watch. You see, statistics show a forty-five percent. You don't have to feed him that bump to row. We found that crime because there's crime everywhere you go in this jungle. They say that there's a crime that happens every 12 seconds. Get your car! You see, right on time. Come back here, you tapeworm! Get in! Sorry. Police business. Go, go, go! I'm not sure this is such a good idea. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Come on, come on. Remember to turn into the skid. Just don't ask me to parallel park. Ah, be careful! Ah! 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 All right, hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! Everybody jump! You okay? Yeah. Are you all right? Don't I? So does um, this mean I won't get my license? Hammer, where's Gum? Ooh. Think he's dead? You 
You better hope so. Doro, I told you how important this was. You let me down. You let this precinct down. Uh, sir, I just want to say in uh, Hammer's defense that... De Shut up, Doro. Listen, Captain, let me just say that I am sorry, and I promise the next time you send a reporter out with me, I'll do a better job. Next time? Next time? Well, if there is a next time. You think I'm gonna let you drive off a cliff with Dan Rather? No! No! I never repeat myself. Doro, would you excuse us for a moment, please? Certainly. Close the door. Thank you. How can you joke at a time like this after what you did to that poor man? Oh, what do you mean, poor? He makes 20 times what I do. Besides, he wanted to ride with me, right? You almost killed him! Ah, well, you see, the key word here, of course, is almost. He's fine. I heard him screaming my name as the ambulance took him away. Cannot believe what happened to him! Hey, it was tough on all of us, all right? The paint job on my car got scratched pretty bad. You don't see me crying about it. Hammer, I called him to apologize. He would not answer the phone. Well, he had, uh, you know, two broken arms, you know, and they're bad. I mean, they are busted in half. They got him back. When this gets over the air, men are going to lose their job, Hammer! No, that, that's just, really, now take it easy. I'm sorry, but I've been softening him up, and I sent him candy, and I sent him flowers, and now there's, let me show you. I have to show you. Singing telegram. Let's see. Go ahead. Let's see if you like this. Uh, just a note from your past ledge. Sorry you fell off the ledge. Thank you very much. Well, I don't know. I was sort of cute. You know, right? A little rhyme with the sledge ledge and the AA of rhyming scheme. <clears throat> Hammer. Is it your goal to make my life a living hell? I don't really have any goals, Captain. I just try to take things day by day. The bird is speeding. You know, just once I'd like to see the coyote eat that feathered freak. Well, Hammer, it's time for the report. Hey, that's right. Say, would you turn on the news, please? Coming up, downtown rocked by another extortionist bombing, but now it's time for gum on the street. Don't worry, it's not going to be that bad. As you know, our police are facing massive layoffs, so I took the opportunity to objectively observe them in action. I was quite surprised at what I saw. So far, so good. Our cops are nothing but a bunch of pistol-packing, trigger-happy brutes. Sorry it was so hard on you, Duro. We don't have police. We have frontier gunslingers. You get the feeling they'd like to get up on the roof, start shooting, and hope that they hit a criminal. <laughs> Who needs to go on a roof, huh? How dangerous are our police? Let's just say I spent one day with them and came away with two broken arms, and I consider myself very lucky. I don't want to hear what Trunk's going to say about this. Oh, I'll well, bet he didn't even see it. That concludes our special report. And now, back to Miami Vice. Hey, nice work, buddy. You really did it this time. Uh, don't give me a swelled head, huh? What, are you cleaning out your locker? Yeah, I got laid off this morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Anything I can do? No, thanks. You've done enough already. Remember? Yeah, Captain, I'd like to register a formal complaint. Somebody wrote Fink on the front of my locker. Yes, Hammer, that was me. What's going on? Hammer, ever since your brilliant performance yesterday, City Hall has been up in arms. And the mayor has ordered me to lay off half my men. Now, the only consolation I can think of is that I am rid of you. I'm suspended again, right, pig? No, Hammer, you don't understand. You are fired, sacked, dumped, banished, terminated. You're out of here. You're history. That's a wrap. 
Just what are you getting at? Uh, Hammer. You are no longer a cop. Sorry, Hammer. You laid off a lot of good men. They ought to be adding cops, not getting rid of them. I guess everybody thinks I let them down, huh? I'm gonna go. Thought about a new job? No, I was born to do this. Listen, when I was a kid, I took a vocational aptitude test, right? They said I was best suited to be a cop. A cop. A cop or a game show host. Listen, Hammer, there's a lot of things you can do. I mean, I'm sure you can find something that's worthy of your unique capabilities. All right, you people, move along. The rest of you people, stay there. Mister, can I see your gun? Son, this thing is not a toy. You remember that, all right? Go ahead. The city is going wild, Doro. I got snipers and no SWAT team, and bombs and no explosive experts. And on top of that, I hear there's an outbreak of crossing guard brutality. Well, sir, I look, if things are so bad, perhaps you should consider Hammer. Hammer? Hammer? He single-handedly caused this entire mess. Uh, sir, really? I mean, do you really think that you should let one bad day ruin a man's entire career? One bad day? One? One bad day? What are we talking about here, Doro? Are we talking about Sledge? I didn't know the thing was loaded hammer. Yes. Oh, that's all I need. All right, I'll get on it. Thank you. Goodbye. Doro, there's been a bomb planted in the business district. There are over a 1,000 people down there. I want you to report to the scene immediately. Alone? What do you expect me to do? Look good. All right, I'm sorry, kid. You're clean. Go ahead. Here's an update on the business district's bomb scare. The extortionist time bomb could go off any second. Police have evacuated an entire block. Sorry, kid, I need this. Okay. Official school crossing guard business. The police bomb squad. As yet, no one has been able to find the bomb, and soon an entire neighborhood will be laid to waste, and no one has the courage to do anything about it, especially not Look our out! ludicrous police. Well, quit lying down on the job, gum. Keep your dignity. My cast! I'll have to sign that later. I got a bomb to take care of. Hammer, what are you doing here? Listen, I'm not going to let some mute blow up half this city, especially the half I live in. Well, I think you're a little late. The bombers are leftist militants. I hate those guys. Yeah, they asked for a million dollars, a private plane, and an end to the Star Wars program. Yeah, well, three movies were enough. Tied three sticks of dynamite to a clock, it's in that store. Dynamite tied to a clock. Or well, finding that'll be child's play. camera off. I don't want to make a hero out of that bozo. It's more than you're doing, Gum. Give me that. We'll let the public decide. Bro, get out. Get out. Only the fool would come in here. What's this, Hammer? This is the clock that I checked. I got all these to go yet. You'll never make it, Hammer. The bomb's going to go off in a couple of seconds. I got an idea. Stand back.
didn't know you knew how to disarm a bomb. I don't. I have this bomb disarmament. Actually, it's my Book of the Month Club selection for this month. are orange and brown. Orange and brown check. See, next volume in this series. Typical. What are we gonna do? Don't panic, Duro. I've been in pressure-packed situations before, and there's only one thing to do. Even a Cretan can look good on TV. Don't flatter yourself, Gum. And now maybe you'll take a second look at the cops in this city that took a bum rap on account of me. By the way, I got something for you. Officer, would you hold this, please? Because of your efforts, the mayor has allowed me to rehire my entire force. And it has also been approved that we all receive a 20% increase in benefits. Oh, I never thought I'd live to see a day when I'd say this, but Hammer, I'm proud to have you on the force. If there's anything that I can do to show my appreciation, just let me know. Thank you and get out. Well, actually, there is uh, one thing. No. Well, you said anything. No, you said it. I mean, if you don't say it... All right, you... all right, all right, all right. What is it? Well, it's just something that I've wanted to do for a long time, but it takes two people. This does not involve a gun, does it? Oh, no. Come on, no. Of course not. No. No. Try. No! No! Thank you. 